it's Lauren. Um, today I'm on here going to talk about my book because this week marks the one year anniversary of me getting this book um, for, in, what to, in a printed format to sell to the public. Um, so as you can see, the title of it is called Lipstick and Autism, and I'm going to be talking about it, um, in a nutshell, meaning describing the, the content of the whole book. First off, um, I'll read the back of it. Autism is the fastest growing and most common developmental disorder. Imagine the frustration and anxiety over taking your child to a team of medical specialists to be told that they have a lifelong and often debilitating developmental disorder with no cure and limited treatment options. Lauren's parents knew something was different about her from the time she was an infant, but as she entered kindergarten in the fall of 1986, her differences were very obvious to those around her as compared to other children her age. A few months later, in early 1987, Lauren's parents took her to see a team of pediatric specialists, and it was then confirmed that she had an incurable and lifelong disorder then known as pervasive developmental disorder, and was later diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when it was listed in diagnostic criteria. Today, that would be known as autism spectrum disorder, classified as level one to three, based on the type and severity of the disorder. Like so many other parents with special needs children, Lauren's parents face many trials and tribulations with treatment options, including health costs, limited yet very expensive treatment options that did not always work and dealing with people who oftentimes misunderstood Lauren. When Lauren was a young child growing up in the 1980s and 90s, in a rural area in eastern Kentucky, little was known about the autism spectrum in general, let alone the high-functioning type of autism that Lauren has. Because of this, Lauren often felt stigmatized for her condition, in addition to feeling isolated and alone. Like many others with autism spectrum disorders, Lauren has faced her share of challenging symptoms and in this book she shares her personal experience with high functioning autism and how it has impacted her life. In this memoir written by Lauren firsthand about her entire life, she explains what it was like to live with autism spectrum disorder from a personal perspective and hopes to educate others about the condition and erase the stigma associated with the disorder. Alright, so... I'm going to um, so share it and I'm going to explain the chapters of it and this version of it I've got it um, signed just for somebody just in case they want to purchase it um, lipstick and autism not all days are rosy and pink by me or in that book. The contents there is 23 chapters in it and the section that includes the symptoms of autism and the benefits and the tips so um, here we go here's the look of it and um, here's let's look inside it this book is dedicated to autistic people and their loved ones um, for privacy and protection, names or changes as needed. Do not use information in this book as a substitute for medical or psychological advice. There's chapter one, um, me as a baby in there. Chapter two, um, my family and me. But you will see it. Get an overview of what it looks like. 
like if you want to purchase it. So guys, um, my book, what it does is it talks about my life growing up with high-functioning autism, um, starting with when I was born until when I was almost, when I was, until my 40th birthday. It actually starts with my 40th birthday in chapter one and ends at my 40th birthday in the last chapter of the book. So chapter two starts off when I was born. So it goes in chronological order up until my 40th birthday from chapter two on until the next to the last chapter. Um, I talk about all the highs and lows and everything in between that I've experienced on my journey of dealing with high functioning autism. Um, I described what it felt like to actually live with the condition and what my symptoms felt like to me um, and my views on it. And I don't feel like people should have to suppress their emotions. I think I may have talked about that a little bit in this book. Um, but what I did talk about toward the end of it was the importance of learning to accept autism um, and, learn, and what you can do with your autism. Um, so that's that. Um, it's a memoir with a twist. So yes, it definitely talks about as much as possible about my life and describing all of my symptoms in detail um, and every treatment I've ever had for the autism um, and how I was often misunderstood growing up by my family and strangers. Um, as being mean and inconsiderate when that was not my intention at all. Um, um, I also want to talk about my other book. I do have another book coming out. Um, I don't know the name of it yet, but it's practically done. Um, it's a spinoff to the advice that I have in my the back of my current book. Um, so, thanks. I will leave a description. Oh, and if you want to buy my book, it's on Amazon and all major online retailers. And if you want to learn more about me, um, go to my website, www.laurenratcliffe.com for more information. Thank you. Bye.